Are you ready for the winter, guys? It's coming. It's coming real soon. So now is the time to get your pain cave set up. Pain cave, I'm talking, of course, about a dedicated space in your house, your garage, shed, wherever, where you have a bike permanently set up on a trainer. So if it's too cold, it's too dark or too windy, or it's snowing outside, no worries. You can hit the bike indoors and get your training done, get the miles in and hit your goals for the next season. Now, if you're dedicated and committed and you don't mind going out in the rain and the wind and the snow, that's fine, I salute you. But for many of us, indoor training has become a lot more a viable alternative in recent years, principally thanks to this brand, Wahoo. And this might be the ultimate pain cave setup. We've got the latest products from Wahoo, including the Kicker. Now the Kicker helped to revolutionise indoor training when it launched many years ago. One of the first smart trainers, and now there are a whole host of smart trainers on the market. So this is the latest 2019 version, and not only this, but we have the brand new headwind for keeping you cool, and we have the climb. So these products all work together to create a whole ecosystem, a whole pain cave environment. And in this video, I'm going to unbox these products and hopefully show you how easy it is to go from being in the box to set up with a bike and get you training. So keep watching. And this is a good time to remind you, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so um, you don't miss any future videos from myself and the rest of the RACC team. So while you hit a button, I'll give you some box and see you on the other side. At the heart of our ultimate pain case setup is the Wahoo Kicker Trainer. This is the latest 2019 version, and while officially it looks very similar to the original that launched a few years ago, they changed a few key aspects. The biggest one concerned noise. They changed the belt and the sprockets inside, and they say it virtually eliminates the noise of the previous version. So you live in a house or a flat, you worry about keeping your neighbours up or the rest of your family when you're doing a 5.30 a.m. session, this should be a key attraction of this new trainer, and a reason to upgrade from the previous version. Aside from that, they've also changed the maximum power wattage. So the previous version was capped at 2,000 watts, this one will go up to 2,200 watts. As before, it's a direct mount trainer. So you take the wheel out of the frame and mount the frame directly to the trainer. That gives it really good stability. And in combination with these wide stance legs, you have a really stable trainer when you're doing your intervals and really hard training sessions. It's also adjustable for a range of wheel sizes and it's compatible with disc brake frames. So you can fit virtually any bike from a road, gravel or mountain bike to this trainer with no problems. You can swing the feet out of the way for easy storage. And you've got a handle here for lugging it around. Although it's pretty heavy, so you need to uh, be careful you bend it your knees and do your backing when you move it around. And the other thing that hasn't changed is the price. £1,000 for a trainer, so right up there with the, um, the best trainers in the market. The price does include a cassette though, so one less thing to worry about. So that's the Kicker 2019 trainer. One key thing you'll definitely need for indoor training is a fan. You're going to produce loads of heat when you're riding indoors, so you don't have that airflow from riding outside, so you need a fan. This is a brand new headwind fan designed to provide a perfect ecosystem setup and it costs 200 pounds. Yes, 200 pounds. Now you can buy a fan for 20 pounds, I did and it works just fine. This one though has a few tricks up its sleeves. On the front is a control panel and you control the power of the fan, I mean that's pretty standard. But the really neat thing is, you can see you have heart rate or speed. So you connect it to your sensors. Basically, the faster you pedal, the more effort you put in, the harder this thing will blow. So ride faster and you get more airflow. It sucks air in from the side and it channels it through a very nice narrow column. So rather than air being blown in all directions, you get it just where you need it, hit your face and your body to keep you really cool. You can also adjust the angle. So this is in the floor mount position, so it's pointed upwards. And if you're on a desk, you have a retractable feet at the back set up in more of a horizontal position there. So that's a headwind fan, £200. It seems an extravagant expense compared to a £20 fan, but well, we'll test it and see if it's worth money. And finally, the most interesting new product from Wahoo is this thing here. This is a climb and it costs £450. That's right, £450. It's designed to make indoor riding even more realistic by raising the front of the bike to simulate a climb. So if you're using your favourite training software like Swift and you're going up a climb, it will lift the front of the bike so it feels like you're actually riding up a climb. 
without leaving your conservatory. It will simulate up to a 20% gradient or a minus 10% descent. And it will do that automatically if you link it up to a smart trainer and your favorite software. So you can just ride along and when you see a hill on screen, it will simulate that gradient or you can do it manually. And built into the device is a control module there. You put it on the handlebar and you basically control the gradient that you're riding up yourself by raising or lowering the front of the bike. So it works pretty simply really. You bolt the front axle into there and we've got all the governs for different axles, so through axles and quick releases and stuff. It comes with a through axle setup already. And the thing is designed to rock forwards and backwards, like so. And that is the uh, Wahoo Kicker Climb, 450 pounds. That's enough talk about these three new products. Now it's time to put a bike on them and get pedaling, so we'll do that right now. There we go, we've got the bike all set up on the Kicker Trainer at the back, we've got the Climb on the front, and way out front there, we've got the headwind fan. And yes, this is an S-Works Venge, just had to lie around the office, so we thought we'd use it. So the next step would be to use your favorite uh, software, so Swift, Trainer Road, or Softfest, and use an iPad or a MacBook or whatever computer you want to use and link it up to your TV and get spinning. Or you can use Wahoo's app. So I'm going to show you how to set up these products in the app now and how you can control them all from the app. So you don't need a computer or an iPad, you can do it all from your phone and a little app. So I'll show you that now. Right, to get running, we're gonna use the Wahoo Fitness app on my iPhone. You can use other apps as well, I use Wahoo Fitness app, it works really well. So the first thing to do is add the trainers as a sensor. We're using Bluetooth, you can use AMP Plus and other devices, we're using Bluetooth here. So add a new sensor and wait for it to find. So there we go, it's found the kicker and it found the headwind. It's not finding the climb because you control the climb uh, manually or you connect it to your favorite training software. So we'll go ahead and connect the kicker. We'll save that sensor. The indoor trainer and done. Next we'll add the headwind, save the sensor, done, bosh. So now we erase the ride, that's an update, we'll do that later. So that's the app set up and everything's ready to go. All I need to do now is get changed and jump on a bike and go for a spin. So I'm going to do it now and get changed. There we go, got changed, and now I'm going to jump on and go for a spin. So let's do that, go for a ride. Actually, my first experience on this new Wahoo ecosystem. After running, the first thing I'm going to do is click start on the Wahoo Fitness app. Now, I'm not using cadence and heart rate, but if you were doing it at home, you would. So the cool thing about the app is you can control a lot of stuff through it, and you can see all the important data like you know, time, power, uh, how far you're riding and your speed and so on. First, let's demonstrate the headwind fan. And at the top, you can see a little whirly gig fan icon. So I can either do it manually and increase. And instantly, I can feel the wind, the air call me. It's really powerful. It's not that noisy, actually. I'm really surprised how, well, it's not quiet, but it's not as noisy as my own 20 pound fan at home. And you can also control it via heart rate and speed, so it automatically adjusts to whatever intensity level you're riding at. The other thing I'm going to talk about is the, the climb. It's probably the most interesting product in the ecosystem. So we have a little control device here on a bungee cord. It's got a strap, you can attach it to a handlebar. A little bit tricky on these aero handlebars. So this little module allows you to control manually the height of the front of the bike. So you go up, to simulate a 20% gradient, or down, to simulate a 10% uh, descent. <laughs> it's quite low down there, that is. It feels a bit odd. Bring it back up. Yeah, so it works really well. Pretty simple, really. Now, if you're using a Swift or another popular training app, and you come up to a climb in the game and training software, it would automatically adjust the gradient to suit, so you wouldn't have to worry about this. But if you want to do it manually, that works really well. I like that. Let's give it a bit of the old uh, 20%. It does feel a bit strange being up this high on a bike in the pain cave. But yeah, it does feel more realistic than a normal trainer when you're riding in the same fixed position all the time. Yeah. And it works really well. That's a smooth action. 
fairly quiet. Right, the one thing we're going to talk about is noise because Wahoo say they made the new kicker train a lot quieter. So I've got an app on my phone and we'll find out how noisy it is. So according to decibel meter, well, we're looking at, well, it's fluctuating quite a bit actually, to itself down. There we go, we're looking high 30s, low 40s when we're not talking. So let's um, get the kicker up to speed and we'll see what sort of noise level it makes. I'm pedaling quite hard. And it's going up to probably double what it was before. So according to the decibel meter, we went up from about 40 up to around 60, maybe 70. So pretty quiet actually. And I do actually own one of the original kicker trainers and it does sound a lot quieter than the original one. Most of the noise actually coming from the drivetrain, my chain as well. So the trainer itself is pretty quiet. Now, let's see how noisy the headwind fan is. So power it up and see. So once again, that's our baseline, about high 30s, low 40s, if I'm not talking. And let's fire up the headwind. On that app, is it? And I'm gonna take it to the max. Oh, that's nice. So it's about the same level as a vacuum cleaner according to this app. And it does sound like a, does sound like a Dyson actually. Other vacuum cleaners are available. Now let's see how it sounds with both the headwind and the kicker trainer going. Well, hopefully that's useful to you if you're looking to buy a smart trainer and a fan uh, this winter to see how loud they actually are. They're really quiet, really. I'm really surprised how quiet the new trainer is. And the fan itself is definitely quieter than my uh, cheap one I have at home. So if you're worried about noise and you want one of the quietest systems on the market, this is probably a good one to consider. So first impressions on the brand new latest Wahoo ecosystem. I'm really impressed. The new kicker feels a lot smoother when you're pedaling compared to the previous version and it's definitely a lot quieter in my own experience compared to the previous version and also as the app shows. The headwind fan, it works really well. You can control it via an app, you can also control it via heart rate and speed as well and it does channel the air nicely into your, into your face and torso area where you really need it. It's not all out the sides. But perhaps the most interesting new product is the climb and well it works. It does what it's set out to do it raises the front of the bike and it lowers it so it stimulates a climb. Now I think a longer term test will be needed to really see if it's worth the quite a sizable investment that it's asked for. At the moment I use a couple of books to uh, put my front wheel up but this is definitely a smarter uh, solution to doing that. But there'll be a full review on RoCC soon of the climb, the headwind and the kicker so stay tuned for those reviews as well and if you want to see a video review on those just let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to hear more about these new products. But yes, this could be the ultimate pain cave setup. But let us know what you think. If you've got any questions on this setup in the comment section below, love to hear your thoughts as always. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, this unboxing and installation of these new products. Uh, if you did, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget, if you haven't already, to subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to us. and means you won't miss any future videos from myself and the rest of the RACC team. And I'm a little out of breath now, so I'm gonna sit down and have a, a cold drink and I'll see you all again next time.